Hello and welcome everyone to the very first award show of the year. We are coming to you live from the Nokia Theater at LA Live in downtown Los Angeles. I am Dave Carger. And I'm Sujin Park. And I'm Tim Gunn. And we'll be your hosts this evening for the Red Carpet Arrivals here at People's Choice Awards 2014. Yes, where you, the fans, have picked your favorites in mo movies, music, and television by casting over, get this, 700 million votes. What? An absolute record. I know. Can wow. you believe that is not a typo? 700 million votes. Well, this show kicks off the award show season, and the stars are already hitting the red carpet, That's as right. you can tell behind us. So, without any further ado, let's get this party started. Let's. Let's do it. <laughs> This is a very special year, Tim. It marks the 40th anniversary of the People's Choice Awards, and we'll be celebrating with some pop quizzes throughout the night. Tim, I gave you something to study last <laughs> night. I know you were up late. You're a very good student. Did you study your, you know, your PCA I trivia? I think I'm ready for it. I really do. Yeah. And I do know that you can still vote on four open categories at peopleschoice.com through the first hour of the show, and we'll be handing out the first awards of the night right here on the red carpet. That's right. In fact, Dave is standing by with the executive producer of the People's Choice Awards, Mr. Mark Burnett, and his beautiful wife, Roma Downey, to announce the very first winner of the night. So, Dave? Thanks, guys. Well, Mark and Roma are here doing double duty tonight. Mark, you're not only the executive producer of the show, but the two of you are nominated because the Bible is a nominee for favorite TV movie or miniseries. Congratulations. Oh, uh, yes, great. Much. I guess the people have spoken, at least on the nominations. <laughs> now, that miniseries became such a phenomenon. At what point did you realize that it was taking off? Was it when the first one aired and you got the ratings the next morning? When did you know you had something that was magical on your hands? Oh, we knew when we were filming it that it was beautiful, that it was exciting, that it was going to touch people's lives. And when all was said and done, over 100 million people tuned in to see the Bible series on television. And now you've taken the 10 hours of footage and you've made it into a two hour and 15 minute feature length movie, which is called Son of God. And that's going to come out in theaters next month. Was it hard to narrow it all down? Uh, we knew while we were shooting we are going to make a movie, and so we were ready of how to do it. And uh, Son of God comes out nationwide on February 28th. And uh, there's an enormous welling of public support behind Son of God, so we're so excited. Great year last year, and hopefully this year is as good a year. Well, you have a very important job right now, which is to announce who the first winner is of the night and it's in the category of favorite streaming series a lot of netflix shows made it onto the nomination list so here's the envelope please announce the winner of favorite streaming series I'll, I'll open it roma you can read it and the favorite streaming series is orange is the new black <laughs> all right Congratulations to Orange is the New Black on Netflix. Is that a show you guys watch? Which Roma does watch, I can tell you, because I, I woke up the other night because she always watches TV late, and she was watching it. <laughs> what do you like about it? Mark watches everything asleep next to me. <laughs> I love that you're a fan. That's well, they yeah. should be happy to receive the award from you, Roma. Yeah. Well, have a great show tonight, Mark. Congrats on everything. Have a great time. And Suchin and Tim, I'm going to send it on back to you. Yes, well, it is a big moment here on the red carpet. We're about to present the first trophy of the night to a Mr. Joseph Morgan, your favorite actor in a new TV series. Congratulations. So here's your award. It's very heavy. It's very you want to hold on? To, you want to kind of get it? Oh, sure, yeah. You can yeah. hold on to it till the end. I, I, I don't know if I'm ready to take that weight yet. Tim loves to hold on to these I awards, by the way. So you want to get it on there. So listen, I think that arguably you may have the most passionate fans out there. What, what, what is it like to have fans that really sort of follow the shows and follow your characters as closely as they do? It's it's really incredible. You know, I, if, if it's okay with you, I'd like to just take a minute to thank Please. a few people because uh, 
Uh, first of all, I just want to thank everyone who voted, everyone who's um, watched the originals and continues to watch it. It's just going to get better and better. Yeah. Uh, I want to thank uh, my love, Persia White, uh, who's a, a constant champion of, of me, and I'm so lucky to have someone so amazing in my life. Julie Pleck, who created the originals uh, and gave me this chance. All the writers, Mike Narducci, everyone who's ever written a line for Klaus. I want to thank uh, Peter Roth at Warner Brothers. I want to thank Mark Pedowitz at the CW. I want to thank my team, Richard Konigsberg, uh, my amazing manager, my agent, Hannibal Gulazi, uh, Mary and Lucy at Curtis the music It's going to go on, right? yeah, right? Um, Dom at BWR. I want to thank my family, my mum, Sarah, my brother, Jack, and I want to dedicate this award to the memory of my dad, who was constantly creative his entire life. That's thank wonderful. you for letting me do that. Oh, absolutely. I mean, this is your moment. And so Joseph, listen. speaking of voting, yes. we want you to vote. Oh, yes, yes, it's still open categories. It's still open categories here for uh, your favorite vote here. <laughs> I wonder which one you'll vote for. And it could be the winning vote, by the way. It could be the winning, I mean. Excellent. Well, that's that's an excellent choice. That, that's an excellent <laughs> choice. So congratulations. Congratulations, again Joseph. On now your it's win. yours. So, uh, yes. It, it now you heavy. can take it. <laughs> congratulations. All right, Dave. Who are you hanging out with? Thanks so much, Suchin and Tim. I am here with Allison Janney, the star of Mom on CBS, nominee tonight for Best Favorite Actress in a New TV Comedy. Congratulations. Thank you very much. It's my first time uh, being invited to the People's That's Choice. That's crazy Awards. that this is your first People's Choice Awards. All the work that you've done over the years, it's amazing. Well, I, I'm hoping it's not because I, I'm just happy to be here right now, whatever the reason. I'm... Now, any stress on the set since you and your co-star, Anna Ferris were both nominated in the same category, or did you laugh about it? No, I'm not going to lie to you. There's a lot of tension between Anna and I about this. We are, there's going to be a knockdown, drag out fight after if we, one of us doesn't win, we're, or she wins and I don't win, it's, it's not going to be pretty. Wow. And you're up also for Best New TV Comedy, and I should tell people that that's a category that is still open for voting and open for an hour into the show. So go to peopleschoice.com and vote for vote Mom. Vote for Mom. Vote for Mom. How Why should they not, vote for it? How can you not vote for Mom? You cannot turn down your mother. And just vote for Mom, please, because it would be just, it's an amazing show, and, and, and Anna's a sweet girl, and, and it would just be really, please vote for us. Now, you've won a lot of Emmys over the years, and I'm sure a lot of very interesting and cool people presented you with the Emmy. If you were to win a People's Choice Award, who would you want to present it to you? That's a very good question, Dave. Um, I think it would have to be I, I, George Clooney. It's a good choice. I kind of love George, so I, that would be pretty swell. While we're here, we should also talk about a movie that you were in this summer that okay. is so great called The Way, Way Back, yeah. a movie that is just so terrific. And you and Sam Rockwell and uh, Steve Carell, Tony Collette, such a great cast. great cast. And you must have been happy to see all of the great reception that that movie had this Are summer. Are you kidding me? It was, it was thrilling to have that much fun shooting a movie and, and have it be received as, as, as well it was, was icing on the cake. It was an amazing experience. And Jim Rash, of course, and... Uh, Nat Faxon wrote it, and, and we, you know, were on the beach all summer, and, and just we had the best time. Well, it shows through the movie. So, congrats, congrats on Mom, congrats on Masters of Sex, way way back. So much great stuff that you're up to, Allison. Great to see you. To have see a fun too. time tonight. Now, Su Chin and Tim have a very special guest, someone that Tim knows very well. Back. That's Suchin right. and I are here with my girlfriend, the yes. ravishing Heidi Klum. I feel like I'm standing in between the three loves, you know what I mean? <laughs> Keeping you apart. Us. Yeah. You are. You're separating us in a manner of speaking. Heidi, I just have to ask you, yes. you're always stunning, you're always gorgeous. How do you do it? Is it just DNA? Thank it's you, just Tim. in your bones and blood? I do have a very great glam team. You yeah. know, I have great hair and makeup team and amazing designers that put us in these awesome outfits and jewelry and everything. They help a lot. I did did not wake up looking like this this morning. I think you were pretty close. <laughs> so we have a lot yeah, of pretty close. <laughs> um, I mean, you're no stranger to a red carpet. I mean, are there sort of red carpet staples that you're like, okay, before you go on a red carpet, check that your lipstick is good, check that your, you know, that your slip isn't showing. I mean, do you have your that checklist? you're wearing one. Yeah, well, I, I think <laughs> that is number one key because when you get out of cars, and I do love wearing really short skirts, as we you know. know. 
So wearing a slip, that is rule number one. Or tip number one, wear one. <laughs> I have to ask you too, how are the kids? My kids are great. Uh, and they must love seeing you on the red carpet. I, yeah, no, they love this because they saw little Hello Kitties everywhere. Oh. Can you see little Hello Kitties? Oh, no. They were like, Mommy, is this Hello Kitty everywhere? And I'm like, no. I love that, but now though. now I see it, too. <laughs> now, now I, I do, too. too. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I don't know if you know this, but this is a very special uh, People's Choice Awards, 40th anniversary. So we're doing sort of these little pop quizzes. Oh, oh yes, we are. you on the red carpet. Oh. But don't worry. You're not going to be graded. Don't worry about that. Okay. Uh, so it's our first it trivia is. question of the night. So here it is. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Who presented the first ever People's Choice Award? We're going to give you multiple uh, choice. 40 years ago. Choice. Was it Carol Burnett? Sammy Davis Jr., Cher, or Michael Landon? 40 years ago. Cher. I mean, she's beautiful. And she's and brainy. And she's smart. I was say it? it all the yes, time. Yes, it really was. <laughs> it was. I, no I wish we had something to give you for that. I, a fruit basket. <laughs> and years ago, I'm like, Cher, it, I don't know. It was to Jean Stapleton wanna, for All in the Family. I want to know what she was wearing. Yeah, right, most well, importantly. Oh, you'll, oh you'll, you'll, you have the photo? We had it. Yeah, we have great footage yeah. of her. And she was uh, presenting to Jean Stapleton, yes, as you for said. Yes, All in the so, Family. Yeah, it's been 40 years. Wow. Yeah. It's a pretty amazing thing. That was a wild Can I tell you something? We've been asking people this question all day. You're the only one who's gotten it right. Right. It was a wild guess. Well, it was a good, <laughs> a good one. guess. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank Have you. so much fun in thank there. It was know. great to it. meet you. Mwah, love, love you, you. Heidi. Mwah. Mwah. I'll see you soon. Can't help. All right, Dave. You are with the women of the hour, I hear. I literally was about to say I am with the women of the hour. We are on the same wavelength, Suchin. That is shocking. Yes, I'm here with Beth Bears and Kat Dennings. Double nominees tonight, but more important, hosts. People's Choice Awards. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. You have major smiles on your faces. I see no nerves. Do you feel any nerves? I feel my shaking hand right now, but if you could. It's cold. I am cold. It's half cold, half nerves. Yeah. I feel like we're kind of zen about it. Yeah. It's going to be cool. It's, it's gonna live. Be fine. People understand. If I fall down, though, I'm staying down. <laughs> Someone's going to have to I'm not, pick yeah. me up. I'll drag her across the stage to take her off. It'll be yeah. great. Falling down at an award show did not hurt Jennifer Lawrence's career. Right? Okay. If Jennifer Lawrence can do it, anybody can do it. Because she can make, she can do no wrong in my book. So she is a genius. Well, full disclosure, I did watch a little bit of your rehearsal earlier today, and I thought you guys seemed really funny together. What do you think it is about two women hosting an award show together? Because obviously Tina Fey and Amy Poehler do it very well. Is there safety in numbers? It I feels, would say so. I mean, I feel better. I feel ten times better yeah. than we have each other. You know, because you always think if a joke doesn't work or something, like, you're both up there together. Like, it's not yeah. you alone. You're not just dying out yeah. there by yourself. You yeah. have your best friend dying exactly. with you. Exactly. We <laughs> die together. Yes. <laughs> now, does it also help that your show, Two Broke Girls, won the People's Choice for Favorite New TV Comedy two years ago? So long ago, but it did. We did. It we did. were up on this stage. We were actually, it was the first time we'd ever presented. We were very nervous. Very. I remember walking out on the stage, like, shaking, holding we her hand. We were holding hands, like, shaking like this. We were like, oh. And now we're going to be doing it again. But as a host, <laughs> <We're hosting. laughs> yeah, so. so for people who are going to watch the telecast tonight on CBS, without giving anything away, just give me like a code word for something cool that we're going to see you guys do. Rapping. <laughs> That's not a code. That's just what it is. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> this isn't even a bit. This is improv. Oh. Um, what's a code word? Oh Music? my God. No, no, that's literally <laughs> that's not a the thing that it is. <laughs> you do it. Banana. Okay. Banana. Okay. Do with it what you will. I'm going to look out for a banana. I wish you great luck hosting. I wish you great luck in your two categories. And from two broke girls to just playing girls, I'm sending it back to Tim and Suchin. Wow, quite an introduction. That's right. I'm here with Allison Williams. We're having our geek out moment oh, we because are. we love this show. We love Absolutely. you. Not over you guys. I love both of you so much. Seriously. Well, we can't wait for the show to come back. And I'm going to add, I don't know how many people know that you are an encyclopedia of fashion and one of the best judges ever on Project that Runway, Allison. That is such high praise. I'm obsessed with that. Coming from Tim Gunn, that that's means the much. world to They're me. They're not idle words coming from me. That means so much. I had such a blast on the show with you guys and it was, um, I don't know, it's just so cool to be around people who are so intelligent and creative at the same time. Well, you upped the bar for all of us. Oh, thank you. You did, I'm most definitely. So season three is coming just around the corner for girls. Yes. What can we expect, you know, as the show evolves? Yeah. Well, I think the funny thing about our show is that 
you get to know the characters really well, so over time they kind of morph into different people than they were when we met them. Marnie, for example, at the beginning of the season is a total mess. Yeah. She's an absolute disaster. She seemed to be falling in love, and then at the last second she completely fell apart. She was dumped. Um, she's devastated. She's sleeping on her mom's couch in like a very sad rainbow bright blanket. Like it's a really sad scene. And of course, in true Marnie fashion, she's pretending that absolutely nothing is wrong. Everything's totally fine. You know, I'm. It's under control. And so I think that'll be really fun. But the girls are back, and we're awkward and great as ever. I think. And I have to say, the way that you've described the show and and its resonance, don't you think that this is why people love it? Because it's so much like real life. I hope so. I mean, I hope that it's real. I hope it feels like um, four very specific specific examples of girls in their 20s, yes. and in that specificity, I hope it ends up relating to a lot of people on a broader level. And how many of us don't know or aren't a Marnie? I mean, really. Oh, thank you. Well, that means a lot to me. I'm certainly a Marnie, at least partially, <laughs> but um, it's very divisive. There are a lot of Shoshas out there, a lot of Jesses, a lot of Hannahs, and I hear from all of them. Yeah. All yeah. of them all the time, I'm sure. So, you know what? It's just the beginning of the year. I mean, how has the new year been? Do you have any resolutions and things you're looking forward to? My one resolution I have already accomplished. That's how realistic I am. About wow, resolution. what was it? It was to clean my desk. It's very simple. <laughs> it's very Marnie of you, because by the way. I, it's yeah. not, well, it's not Marnie of me to yeah. have a dirty desk, but yeah. it's Marnie of me to want to clean it. I It always piles up, and I was like, you know what? I just have Done. to do this. So I took a couple days after New Year, cleaned my desk. I feel like a million dollars. That's it. That is it. That is well, it. Well, like no bread. That's so unrealistic. Like, you can eat no bread for an entire year. That's just well, dumb. Well, happy New Year to you and your clean Thank desk. You, Thank you so you. much. Thank you so much. All right, Dave. Who are you hanging out with? Someone beautiful, I hear. You know what, Suchin, I am, and you're going to be a little upset when I tell you who I'm with. I'm with Miles Teller, who I know you were hoping to see, but Miles is sending you hellos from across the carpet. Hi, Suchin. <laughs> nice to see you. Miles Teller is a presenter tonight at the People's Choice Awards, star of one of my favorite movies from this summer, The Spectacular Now, and has a movie coming out this month called That Awkward Moment with yeah. Zac Efron and Michael Jordan, which is really funny. Yeah. How would you describe it? Because it's kind of a raunchy comedy, but it's got real heart to it, too. Yeah, I think, you know, over the past few years, when you say you're doing a romantic comedy, maybe people don't know uh, how, uh, how good it's going to be. I think it was kind of a genre that got disregarded the past few years. In the 80s, it was... That was had everything. It had comedy and had heart. I think you have three three young guys in this that are very you know serious about acting and yeah, it's a great movie. It's a lot of fun. It's it's got a raunchy humor, like you said. It has a bunch of heart in it. Yeah. Are you ready when you're about to do all the interviews for this movie for everyone to ask you what's the most awkward moment that you've ever had on a date? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that's going to be coming. So what's your answer? When the time comes, I will uh, <laughs> go back through memory lane and think about when I felt very embarrassed and. The time has come. Yeah, I'm. I'm sure there's a ton of them. I haven't. Uh, I haven't explored that yet. You know, when I saw the spectacular now this summer, this is something I would imagine you've heard a lot. You really reminded me of John Cusack a lot in a movie like Say Anything. Is that something that you've heard, and does that make you happy to hear? Is he someone that you looked up to? I think it's a compliment for sure. I mean, the director and the writers, they really, you know, those those movies like Say Anything held a special place in their heart. And I think that's why they wanted to write one that kind of echoed those sentiments and, and really took teenagers seriously. So I actually met John Cusack at a party. I went up to him and I said, hey, man, for the past four years, everybody's been telling me, I remind them of you. What do you think? I said, I'm sorry to hear that. You're, you're much more attractive and good luck. So that's a compliment. John Cusack's a great, uh, great actor. Have you done many of these red carpets? Is this something that's fun for you, or is it scary and overwhelming? I did the, what is it, the Video Music Awards in Brooklyn. That was a lot of fun. Uh, you know, when you first get, because this is, I just came from my apartment. I was having, like, a coffee. Then you come here, people are yelling. There's a lot of cameras and stuff. So it's a pretty big contrast. But, yeah, it's fun. Anytime people come out to support something you're doing, I think is, uh, you're very honored and lucky to be there. Well, it's great to see you. Have a good time presenting tonight. That awkward moment comes out in theaters later this month. I'm going to toss it back to Tim and Su Chin. We've got Norman Reedus with him. We're here with Norman Reedus, and it's time to present another award yes. here on the red carpet. You, the fans, voiced your choice and selected The Walking Dead for favorite cable TV drama. Woohoo! So here it is. Here it is, Norman. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I mean, 
our show is such a fan-based show, and, yeah. and and we you know we rely on those people, and we're such we're so friendly with those people. So I want to thank you guys, and thank you guys for giving us this award. This is awesome. But did you know it was going to be such a, a I'll say a drop dead hit? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> fantastic. Um, I mean, I knew it, it was something I wanted to be a part of. I mean, it had uh, you know AMC, which I was already watching their shows, and Gail Ann Hurd and Greg Nicotero and Kirkman's you know graphic novel. I knew it was going to be awesome. I didn't know it'd be this, but. Um, I'm happy it is, you know. Yeah, and, and this award show, like you said, is all about the fans. And you arguably have some of the craziest, most passionate <laughs> fans out there. I mean, what's it like to sort of carry those fans through the storylines and hear from them in, in good and bad ways, I suppose? Um, I mean, I'm very, uh, I'm in communication with them all the time, you know. And um, I, I feel like it's our, our show. Yeah. I don't feel like it's, you know, their show or... AMC is very good with that, you know, and they're, they're very, uh, uh, you know, they present themselves to the fans and the fans interact. So it's, I feel like it's ours. Do you have a most memorable fan? Oh my God, there's so many. Um, uh, wow. There's, I mean, there's so many, you know what I mean? There's a ton. I, I have, I mean, I could go on about fan gifts, but I, I mean, it's a, it's <laughs> a family show. What's the strangest show. fan gift? Yeah. Um, I have a... I have a breast implant that's in my trailer back right. in New York that's my phone cradle. Um, that's a great use I, of a breast implant. I, you know, that's there's a, a whole strange bunch of one. <laughs> yeah. Well, we didn't quite get you that present. We heard it was your birthday. We got you something yes. a little tamer. Oh, no way, no way. We knew you loved motorcycle and chocolate, so we got you this beautiful little Shut cupcake. Up. Oh my god, I love it. Tim this. Tim stayed up all night frosting it and, and salting it. <laughs> Happy you. birthday. Happy thank birthday. You so much. Congratulations. So sweet. Thank you so much. Yeah. And thank you everybody and and a happy birthday and so yeah. thank you so much. Thank you so much and congratulations on everything. I'm so excited. Dave, who's chatting with you? Yes, I've got Malin Ackerman with me. Now, before we get to your show, Trophy Wife, and why you're here tonight, yes. Malin, I want to get to the correct pronunciation of your name. Because you did go on Conan O'Brien, and it did sound like you were saying it was Okaman. Yeah, if you say it in Swedish, it's Okeman. Okeman, which yeah. sounds Jamaican. Yeah, it's like okay, man. Okay. Yeah. But if people say Ackerman, you're all right with that? I'm cool with that. It's a, little, it's a little easier because the A has a ring on top, like an angel, which I, I am, of are. course. Yeah. yeah. I see. <laughs> now, you're no stranger to People's Choice Awards because you were in 27 Dresses, which won a People's Choice Award. Are you excited to be back presenting an award? Absolutely. I, people's Choice is one of my favorites because it's the people choosing their favorite shows and their favorite films, so it's a little extra exciting. Now, I have to say, um, Trophy Wife, you have a great director on that show, Jason Moore, who did the pilot and who also directed Pitch Perfect, which is such a great oh, movie. Fantastic. And you have such a terrific cast on that show. And I think, so Marsha Gay Harden, Sybil Shepard, so many great women on the show, right? Great women. Um, yeah, we got Marsha Gay Harden, Michaela Watkins, uh, Bradley Whitford, you know, some Oscar winners, some Emmy, I mean, just cause. You know, just whatever. <laughs> it is a phenomenal cast and, and actually some of the best child actors I've ever seen in my life. And the little, our little Albert Tsai, who is like our shining star, this is his first TV show that he's ever done, ever. And he's incredible. I mean, I'm, I, keep, I keep saying, you know, next year, when we get picked up for a second season. <laughs> it won't be called Trophy Wife. It'll be the Trophy Wife's Kid I because see. it's all about Albert. Well, you often hear about kids getting recast on shows because they don't seem to have fun or it just doesn't work out. That's got to be something that gives you pause when you step onto a set. Are these kids going to be able to hold their own? Of course, and yes, they are. I mean, these kids are here to stay for sure. They're incredible. What's going on in your film career? I loved you in Wanderlust with Paul Rudd. What are you up to besides the show, which I'm sure is keeping you busy? Well, uh, I think I might be doing a little movie on it. It's not all set in stone yet, so yeah. I can't talk about it. But yeah, we're, we're almost done shooting this show. So I think uh, come springtime, I'll be shooting something, something fun and special. OK, that sounds exciting. So when you think back to being here a couple of years ago, what sticks out in your mind when it was your first time here? Oh, I mean, first of all, coming here for the first time and being nominated and winning, uh, it's a little overwhelming and exciting. And again, I think it just is that much more special because it's all your fans and, the, and their energy is palpable. Um, whereas a lot of the other shows, which are also fun, it's a little bit more your peers, you right. know? So this is extra exciting. Do you remember who it was that actually handed you? trophy on stage? Oh, shoot, I don't. I was so excited and nervous tonight. Yeah, I 
I, I don't remember. Isn't That's, that awful? Well, uh, whoever you're presenting to tonight, I'm sure is going to remember that it's you. Oh. You're giving out the best on-screen chemistry. Yes. So have a great time, Malin. It's great to see you. Great to see Enjoy you. yourself tonight. Thank I'm going to send it on back to Tim and Suchin. All right. Well, we are standing here with the beautiful Nina Dobra from Indeed. The Vampire Diaries. You're sparkling tonight. Ah, uh, thank you. Um, all right. So listen, this show is all about music, movies, and television. Do you have like a guilty favorite on television that we'd all be surprised that you watch or DVR? Oh, wow. Um, I've been trying to get, I'm so late to the game. Everyone talks about <laughs> Breaking Bad, how awesome it is. I get it. I get it. So I finally just started watching it. Yeah. And Lauren, who is uh, Aaron's wife yeah. is a friend of mine and she just started watching Vampire Diaries so we've been texting each oh. other like oh my god I can't believe this happened that's disgusting or that's awesome or that's gross like all kinds of things but you can share in the phenomenon of each yeah exactly and I want to ask you you're such a big star I mean with the way that the audience reacted when you came in I mean it was phenomenal who are you starstruck by who am I starstruck by um you know I'm kind of embarrassed to say because I feel like I'll run into them one day and then, uh, and then we uh, we promise we won't tell. We this won't is tell. just live, you know, <laughs> just live. Yeah. Um, just the entire world yeah. will know. Um, I love, you know, I, I love Angelina Jolie. I think she's beautiful and poised, and she does she does great great things for the world, and she's talented. So, I think I would get a little bubbly and excited yeah. if I saw her. Fair enough. Now you have won in past years. You're up for three categories. Um, what is it about the fans in this show? I mean, it really is a connection to the fans, isn't it? You guys have an amazing relationship with them. It is. I mean, you can hear it. Yes. When, you, when, it, when they scream, there's that energy that, that you know, we, we wouldn't be doing it. We couldn't do it without them. And so to get this award, it kind of is the ultimate award. Yeah. And, yeah, I won a couple of years ago by, by write-in, and that was so exciting and awesome. And honestly, all, another thing about this specific award show that's cool for me is that it happens to always be the on my birthday one day after one day oh, before so which happy is it? birthday tomorrow so i guess midnight tonight is my birthday all right so, fingers crossed <laughs> you'll have like for, for my birthday yeah a couple of people's joys yeah away, right? <laughs> well congratulations on everything on your success thank you so much for being here with us all right i think we're going to um look at some fashion choices oh, fabulous. tonight we're premiering the people's choice 360 fashion which camp. you know Very i love fancy. i know the stars can step inside and give you unique 360 degree view of their red carpet looks in the form of a six second vine video how cool is it's that fantastic let's yeah. take a look at some videos from earlier tonight yeah right? oh, we have heidi of course heidi klum i mean she knows how to pose even oh. for a vine video well you she's a I mean? supermodel for a yeah. reason yeah. and she looks great yeah it helps and she was very sparkly absolutely oh. that's sarah, sarah Bareilles. yes so cute adorable yeah she i mean there you are. There you are. I mean, you know there what? There you are, Nina. By the way. No, it's. Just, yeah, it's. But it's kind fun, of, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I love that. It's a great idea. Good. good and job, it's. Guys. High, and five. high five. High <laughs> five. I, I invented it. Um, I just. I, I don't know if you know that. Um, but thank you so much for having fun with us. And you look absolutely beautiful. So thank you so much. And congratulations on tonight. And there you have it. You can find all of tonight's 360 Fashion Cam videos on Twitter, where you can follow at People's Choice. Dave, back to you. Thanks, Sushin. I am now here with Lucy Hale, who's one of the stars of Pretty Little Liars. And this is very exciting to me because I am very happy to announce to you that you have been voted this year's People's Choice winner for Favorite Cable TV Actress. Are you Congratulations. Serious? Oh my God. Not only is that, you're going to get your trophy right now. Look at this. It's a little heavy, I'm told. Me? Congratulations, People's Choice it's winner. So heavy. This is unbelievable. It's real, it has my name on it. That's incredible. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. I saw all the tweets and the votes. I know you guys voted your little faces off. So this is, I'm gonna cry on live TV. This is like. It's very exciting. I don't even know what to say. Well, let me ask you some questions because it's been a very exciting yeah. week for you. You released your video for. Like a baby. Yeah, you might create it like a baby because it is a baby. You released your video for You Sound Good to Me. This is incredible. Sorry, I'm I, just I, trying to wrap my head around everything. <laughs> this year is awesome. I know. Um, yeah, so the single uh, dropped yesterday on iTunes and um, we premiered the video too. And it was a premiere of PLL. So it was like quite the day. And now this. I can't say thank you enough for the support for everything yesterday and for this. Like, you guys, like, 
y'all make my heart smile. It's amazing. <laughs> I love the song, and there's one lyric in the song where you say an old song playing on the radio that you yeah. grew up to and everybody knows. Yeah. What's the one you song? The I love That's the song. Awesome. It's an adorable song. Thank you. What would you say is the song that reminds you most of your childhood? Um, the whole Shania Twain Come On um, Over album. Um, uh, man, I Feel Like a Woman. Like, and I was listening to Dixie Chicks today, like ready to run, like just anything Dixie Chicks, Shania Twain, Martina McBride, like those are people that have inspired me, so. One of the great categories here at the People's Choice Awards is favorite country icon. Who's one in your mind, someone that you really Dolly grew up? Dolly Parton, oh. Dolly Parton. You can't really beat it. No. I love Garth Brooks, Martina McBride. A lot of great ones. There's a lot of good ones. I cannot believe this right now. It's exciting. Okay, before I let you Do go, I Lucy, you get to take it with you. Oh, okay. You're going to hold that all night long. Okay. You're going to be sick of it by the end yeah. of the night. We have a, a fun game that we're going to play with you, okay. and it's called Against the Clock. And nervous. I'm going to, okay. don't, don't be nervous, it's okay. fun. I'm going to put 15 seconds on the clock, and I'm going to ask you a series of questions, and you okay. answer first thing that comes to your head. Are you ready? Lucy Hale, Against the Clock. 15 seconds, go. Smoky eye or bold lip? Oh, smoky eyes. Uggs or Crocs? <laughs> Uggs. Picnic in the park or walk on the beach? Walk on the beach. Action or romance? Romance. Glasses or contacts? Glasses. Nice. Baked or fried? Fried. Oh, time is up. I learned a lot about you good note. tonight. I like fried food. <laughs> yeah, that's all you need to know. And walks on the beach. On the beach. That's there important information for some people Can out there. Can I just say thank you so much again? This is like the coolest, maybe the coolest moment. This whole week, wow, incredible. Thank you so much. Congratulations, wow. Lucy. Well, as Lucy heads down the carpet with her brand new trophy, I want to tell you all not to forget that you can still determine who will win the People's Choice Awards in four open categories. So head over to peopleschoice.com to cast your votes now, and those categories will remain open through the first hour of the show. All right, Suchin and Tim, I'm sending it back to you. I have to confess to everyone that I am in more than a bit of a puddle right now because Su Chin and I are with Kunal Nair, one of the stars of my favorite, favorite show, The Big Bang Theory. It's okay. You, we're going to get I'm, through this, Tim. I'm so thrilled to have you here. No, thank you. He's thank like you. your number one fan, yeah. I'm telling you. This is a big moment for him. I, absolutely. <laughs> so, and I have to say, too, growing up, I was a nerd and I was picked on for many reasons. And, the stylish man in the oh, world. Oh, you're very what kind. Is he, what is he even but no. It also makes the show so, so dear to all of us who were or still are nerds and the f fact that you celebrate the culture. Yeah. Nerds rule. Hey, yeah. They do. You know, smart is sexy. Exactly. Yeah. And we wouldn't be able to advance the planet without us. No, that's true. Yeah. 100%. I feel smarter just standing here in between <laughs> two really smart guys. Now, one of the newest categories that you're up for is sort of favorite bromance on screen. Oh, right. How do you guys sort of keep the bromance alive on set? Uh, well, we work uh, a lot on it offset. Yeah. Uh, a lot of uh, late afternoon naps if you know what I mean <laughs> yeah naps right no you know what we've we've had wonderful chemistry uh, since the beginning and we're just as good friends offset as we are on set and it's 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 a family so we're very very blessed to be working together and it must be just so much fun to wake up and work with friends and and be able to that work on a show be. that's got so much meaning we work very hard but it doesn't feel like it no. you know what I mean it just you, you show up to work every day you get up from your home and you go to your another home basically so yeah. it's like oh, working and, and playing together. And did you ever dream when you first read the script that the show would be the tremendous success? I mean, you always dream is? about it, but you have no idea. You have no you idea. You know what I mean? You never think, oh my God, I'm going to be on a hit show when you read the script. You just think, I hope I don't get fired after the first read through. <laughs> and then, you know, even now, I show up to work and, and everyone tells me, oh my God, 20 million viewers and it's the yeah. most popular comedy all over the world and all this stuff. And it's so hard to look at it when you're when you're living it, you know. It, maybe one day when it's all done, I'll look back and be like, oh my God. Right now, it, it's like you show up to work and you just... Well, and it all makes right. me so very happy because it's such a smart show. And I That's love the fact great. that people are watching a smart show. And by the way, you stepped into our 360 uh, fashion oh, cam, looking oh. quite sexy, by the way. Oh. What do you what do you think, Tim, of of, of his his fashion vine here? I oh. love Kunal's fashion. That's yeah. great. Under any circumstances, thank you. Because it's all about you and what you resonate as an individual, that and really that's profound means a lot, Jim. and thank beautiful. You. Thank you, sir. Oh. Thank you so much for stopping by. Congratulations on an amazing, successful run. Yes, fingers crossed. Thank you. Have a great time in and there. And thank you for making my night. <laughs> thank you.
<laughs> All right, Dave, you have some very, very big guests with you on the other side of the red carpet. I sure do. Hope you can hear me over the helicopter that's flying over our head. I am now joined by the guys from One Republic who are performing tonight. Ryan, Zach, Eddie, Brent, Drew, welcome. Great to see you. Good to see you. Thanks so, for having us. What are you going to be singing? Counting Stars tonight, right? Yes, Counting Stars. How did you choose it? Was it chosen for you? How did it all happen? Uh, it just happened. I mean, <laughs> it's the current single. Yeah, it's, yes. it's, it's, it's doing well and we love playing it. It's our yeah. favorite. So, yeah. Simple choice. Yeah. yeah. People's choice. <laughs> Look, see, not, you're just throwing all that crazy stuff crazy in there right now. Now you have a, you're part of a great lineup of performers tonight. Sarah Bareilles is singing tonight. Brad Paisley is singing tonight. Is there anyone that you know that's coming tonight that you're particularly excited to be in the room with? Uh, we're uh, we're excited to see Sarah. She's a good friend of ours, and none of us have been to a Brad Paisley concert, so we're we're all pretty excited about Should that. Super duper excited. So. What else would you say are some of your choices for like best albums this year? What gets you really excited? I, I love the Macklemore album. I just think that I mean the day I bought it the day it came out and was we were tweeting all about him like the week that it dropped just because it was the fact that it was independent it was it was funded by them. Um, I can't think of the last time an album's come out that's independent that has been this successful worldwide ever. I literally can't think of the last time it happened. so I really hope they, they, uh, well, they've already had the best year ever. They so. have. There you go. Well, you guys have had a great year. I mean, Ryan, you've been featured on The Voice a lot as a mentor, which is really cool. Yeah. What sticks out in all of your minds is like the highlight of 2013? Um, I would, I would say the, the biggest highlight is are probably like all the are the artists, um, the wide variety of artists that have that have come around and like made their way to the top ten. Um, I feel like last year. It, it was a little bit more kind of one-dimensional, a little bit, and, and this year I feel like there's been a lot of really cool variety um, in terms of sound. Yeah. yeah, it's not just dance music anymore, which yeah. is exciting. I mean, and the stuff that is working, like the new Avicii record, is incredible. Hey, brother, and wake me up. But like, music in 2013 has, in America, finally gotten to a place where bands can thrive, pop artists can thrive, rock, country, bluegrass, dance, all of it can actually work in the U.S., and it's the first time in a long time. Who are some people that you've been writing with? I know you wrote Bleeding Love by Leona Lewis that I love so much, so many other people you've worked with. Who else are you guys working with these days? Um, I've got the Beyonce for a single, XO, so I'm excited about that. Nice. Uh, Ellie Goulding single, he and I co-wrote together, Burn. Oh, I love Burn. Um, you know, a, a bunch of new stuff, new Colby Clay, working on some stuff I can't talk about. Okay. Obviously Obviously excited about when, whenever the next Adele happens. I'm very excited about that. Cool. And I'm excited. We have at least two more singles that we're going to put out. So it's 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 kind of crazy. We 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 just put the Hollywood Bowl on sale like a few weeks ago and and never thought we could sell it out and it's going to sell out. So this is for us. This is tonight's the culmination of the most insane year ever. I love it. And you're wrapping it up with a great performance on People's Choice Awards. So watch it on CBS tonight. One Republic, guys, thank you so much. It's great to meet you. Thank you, man. Have fun. Thank you. Yeah, All right, Tim and Su Chin, I'm going to send it back to you. Now he's like a crack addict or uh, a homeless guy. Oh, my God. <laughs> I tell him I love the show. I, I really do. That's so funny. Yeah. I love it. He'll love that because we've watched your show oh, together. Oh, well, so. thank you so much. I'm yeah. a very lucky guy. I mean, I'm one of those people. I was a consultant. To Here we go. All right, now I am back with someone who I'm sure many of the people out there, particularly the ladies and the gay guys, let's let's be honest here, who are recognizing this guy, Ian Summerhalder, star of The Vampire Diaries. Now, guess what? Actually, you're not just here to talk to me. You're here to accept the People's Choice Award for Favorite Sci-Fi Fantasy TV Actor. So, Ian, many congratulations. Wow, thank you. Guys, okay. Speech time. This is incredible, first and foremost. This is... Um, this is for the people. This is for the fans. I cannot thank you guys enough for all of your dedication and love. And this is also for the most incredible crew uh, in the entertainment business, the crew of the Vampire Diaries who support us and take care of us and make this all possible for us to act in and for you guys to watch. So this is a huge honor for me, and I cannot thank you enough. And you're nominated in so many categories. I'm looking at this. so. The show is nominated for Favorite Sci-Fi Fantasy Show. Yes. Damon and Elena are nominated for Favorite On-Screen Chemistry, and then the one that you've won. You have to hug it. I mean, what, what is it about this show that makes the fans so insanely crazy? Because they are so on your side. I think it's because the girls take their clothes off a lot. <laughs> uh, no, it's one of those things that, who knows? It's alchemy. It's alchemy, and I think that the commitment to 
this crew and this cast and and uh, and the writing, the direction, everything. It's it, I, I, I I sound like a broken record. It's literally commitment and alchemy and passion. And we could not do this without you guys. So thank you. So. I hear that uh, you spent New Year's Eve in Tokyo. What do the international fans think about the character? Well, I had a couple of New Year's Eves. I had New Year's Eve oh. in Beijing, and then I flew to Tokyo, and then from Tokyo um, to Mexico. So, yeah, you were just partying it up. I, it was uh, <laughs> it was an interesting, it was really incredible. So, uh, what was the question? How did the international fans react to you and the character? They're amazing. They're, it's just, it's, listen, Globally, this show has this reach and this love for it that is, I think, pretty much second to none. So I love it. Before we let you go, we're going to play a little game that we've been playing tonight called Against the Clock. I'm going to put 15 clock. seconds on the clock. Uh, I'm going to rattle off these questions. First thing comes to your mind. Are you ready? Uh -oh. 15 right. seconds. Here where we go. I, where am I looking? Where am I looking? You're looking at me. Oh, I'm looking at you. You ready? Read the book or watch the movie? Read the book. Regular oh, fries or sweet potato fries? Sweet potato fries. Harlem Shake or Twerk? What's the difference? Exactly. Food pics or selfies? Uh, selfies are better. Food porn is weird. Air guitar or air drums? <laughs> air drums are... Time's up. Done. Damn it. Ian, great to see you. Congrats on the People's Choice win. Well done. Thank you. Have a Thank great you time guys. tonight. All right, I'm going to toss it back to my pals, Su Chin and Tim. All right, well, we are standing here with the beautiful Emily Dashnell from Stunning. Bones. Stunning. Oh, you're very Stunning. So fantastic to see you. And we actually have a little game that we've devised for you and Tim. Hey. In honor of Bones, we figured <laughs> you would probably know which bone actually fit on Tim. Yeah. A and we're going to go ahead and play this game called Pin the Bones okay. on Tim Gunn. Okay. Are you like game? It. Yes. Okay, this is a humorous, yeah, it says humorous on it. All right. So, there we go. <laughs> should I put it in front like that? Lovely. Okay, there. this is a clavicle, yeah. I mean, you you're, know this without good. even looking. This is a sternum. Wow, you knew upside down. It's like a tie, like the tie you're wearing. <laughs> this is ruining your outfit. Tim, this is Listen, a fashion do. Emily, you can do whatever you want to me. <laughs> I don't... All right, I don't really turn that over. I didn't know. Oh. What is it? It's right here. It's like oh. it. There it is. Yeah. Oh, I guess it's, All right. it's on that side. That's why. You, That's a zygomatic. Yeah. I have Zygom to tell you, I know you've been on the show forever, but I knew, I said it, she'll never know. <laughs> that, this one. Oh. And probably. you did. And you did. Well, it said zygoma, but I know where it goes. I wouldn't have had a clue. I didn't know it was zygomatic. I'm used to seeing it attached to the other uh, facial bone. I would have placed it somewhere in the lower extremity. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Tim. I mean, you you can actually probably do an autopsy. I mean, I don't want to get gross, but gee, you really know your stuff. Well, listen, Grandpa may be available for an aut autopsy soon. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it right now. Well, um, thank you so much for playing along. I know this was sort of a, a fun little you. silly thing. You lost your humor. But, but you know, before you go into the show, we, before we want you go into the show, we just wanted to ask, you know, this is all about the fans. I mean, what is it like to sort of come to a show, the first award show really of the season, yes. and it's really all about the fans in the show. I love that about this. I mean, we have had an amazing fans for our show. We've been nominated before for this um, and uh, for these awards, and um, I just, I've never been, so I'm oh. really excited to be presenting tonight. and. Um, um, I, I, I'm just so thankful for, to our fans. They followed us to every single weeknight we've ever been on a nine season. So, um, so I love it. It's a it's a fun fun uh, night to be out. Well, the People's Choice Awards is thrilled to have you here for the yeah, first time. Yeah, absolutely. Now we're just starting off a new year, and I have to ask: It's 2014. Are there any resolutions or things that you're really looking forward to as the year comes? Huh? Trying to be a little more healthy <laughs> after I ate my. <laughs> Waiting chocolate over the holidays. <laughs> I'm, uh, you know, trying to be a little more conscious. Um, uh, being vegan helps, but um, yeah, I'm just, uh, you know, keeping my priorities straight, which they usually are. But you know, I have a son who I love, so spending as much time with him is the most important thing in my life. Yeah. And you know, this show is all about also the celebration of music, movies, television. Do you have sort of a music guilty pleasure if we found on on your playlist? You'd be like, interesting. Oh, um, I love Beyonce. I don't know if that's I don't know if that's surprising at all. Everyone loves Beyonce, but I, know, I will but rock out to Beyonce any day. I've I've been a fan since Destiny's Child. 
But people on set know that like you can say no wrong about her in front of and like no, absolutely not. And I've roped everyone else to be like she is perfect. We're not going to make you do a no, Beyonce move dance going. move, exactly. but that's fantastic. Emily, <laughs> Emily, thank you so much, and thank, thank you, you for being a sport with of the course. game, and thank you for being the true expert that you are. <laughs> that's I wish right. I'd known the zygomatic. It's just the smarty zygomatic. pants here, Dave. Oh, yeah. Dave, we're just smart on this platform. That's right. all we do. We just <laughs> smart here. I've known that since the very first time I met you, Sujin. <laughs> There's brains, and you, Tim. Don't don't worry about that. I know. <laughs> well, I'm lucky enough to be standing here with Shamar Moore, one of the stars of Criminal Minds. Hey, hey, hey. Which is nominated for favorite TV crime drama tonight. Congrats on that. We, we are blessed. Nine years strong. Nine years. I don't know if we're going to take it home. We, we always get close, but we never really take it home. But Castle let's, might have our number. I'm not sure. Awards or no awards, you guys are airing your 200th episode yes, next are. month. Yeah. 200 episodes, who knew? I mean, that, that's a milestone in itself. I mean, I'd, it's almost a decade of kicking down doors and saying baby girl and chasing unsubs. And, and it's uh, honestly, I'm not even saying the right stuff. It's because of all those crazy people over there, the fans, and that's why this one's so fun. But they've kept us on the air for 10 years. And, it's, and, and an hour long show. 200 episodes. 200 I mean, it, episodes. I mean, when I, I'll tell the truth. When we shot the pilot, I was like, come on, there's 102 cop shows. Why do they need 103? I was like, there's Cold Case, Law and Order, CSI. But I was like, we don't have a chance in hell. And here we are um, nine years later and we're killing them. So. Well, you mentioned a bunch of them and you are up for the award for favorite TV crime drama. What are some of the ones that you watch that you really like besides the one that you're in? I watch a lot of cable. I actually watch a lot of cable. So, I mean, you know, Dexter, uh, Boardwalk Empire, uh, House of Cards. Um, so, you know, the, the, the next phase in my career, hopefully, you know, I'll be able to hang out with Don Cheeto and some of those cats. Now, you're presenting tonight, and um, last year you were very memorable because you told the story on stage about how you asked out Alicia I Keys. I did. I did. I threw myself under the bus. I couldn't believe it. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to take one to the team because it was just so funny. Miss Alicia Keys, been a fan since she started. I was hosting Soul Trade at the time a thousand years ago. It was probably like 12 years ago. She came on the show with the eyes and the cornrows and playing the piano. Long story short, I said, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to go for it. I saw her at a listening party. I said to her, I said, I don't know what your man's situation is like, but when you're not working, and playing the piano, I'd love to take you out. She looked me dead in the face and she said, look here, son, I respect your flirt game, but my man's situation is handled. And I literally turned into a dork, a little, I didn't know what to do. I, all the cool in me went right out the building. She shut you down. Oh, killed me, crushed me. And I'm the first one to brag about it because <laughs> it's a cool story. She turned me down and Beyonce once upon a time turned me down. So, oh, yeah. Meanwhile, there's like 50 I'm million. I'm kind of proud of that. There's so many women out there at, right now like, won't you just ask me, Shamar, please? <laughs> well, my mama's looking for some grandbabies, so somebody somebody needs to stop turning me down and uh, make it happen. All right, let me, let me test your uh, People's Choice knowledge because it's the 40th um, anniversary of the show right now. You ready? I know I'm just here to party. I know, this is easy. Sandra Bullock's in the building. I know, she is. You know what this I mean? isn't going to be too hard. I'm, just, I'm chilling. Multiple choice. Oh, goodness. So I'm going to take you all the way back to 1990, the 16th annual People's Choice Awards. Who took home the trophy for favorite male performer in a new TV series that year? Was it Fred Savage, Neil Patrick Harris, Kurt Cameron, or Craig T. Nelson? I'm gonna say Neil Patrick Harris. And you said you're here just to party. You're oh, here to get all the questions. That. Yeah, baby. That is right. Look at him accepting the award. Oh, wow, look at Duke Doogie. Howser in the building. Look at the hair. Whatever happened to that guy? Oh, I think he's doing okay. I think he's doing all right. Him yeah, and Ryan Seacrest, they're doing all right. Yeah, I, Neil Patrick Harris, what, I mean, like, he didn't really follow up Doogie Howser with anything. It's no, a shame. No, no, it's a shame. He's no. only the most talented person I've ever seen. I'm no, very impressed. There's no threat he doesn't have. I mean, seriously. I mean, I just I just co-hosted at the Emmys with him, and I just was, like, in his shadow, just in awe. No, he's just, he's a, a talented guy. He's a huge star, but you wouldn't know it. Nicest dude in the world. He can sing, he can dance, he can act. He's funny. The ladies love him. Everybody loves him. That's great. You know what I mean? I want to be like him when I grow up. Well, you, there's still time, Shamar. <laughs> well, I hope you have a great time tonight. I'm already having a ball. It's great. Hanging out with some crazy fans. There's some huge stars in the building. I'm sure I, I'm waiting for some screams when you turn the corner after the uh, the carpet right there. It's going to happen. <laughs> as long as it's not sirens. That's all I care about. As long as it's not Alicia Keys and Beyonce. There you go. Okay. There you go. All right. I'm going to send it back to Tim and Suchin, who have a very special guest. Happy New yes. Year. We're here with the stunning Naya Rivera, star of Fox's comedy hit Glee, where she plays Santana. And apparently fans must love their Santana and Rachel because we're here to present you with the trophy for favorite TV gal pals. Isn't that so and cute? here it is. Thank you. Congratulations. Uh, right, it's very heavy. It's heavy. Oh, cute, it says Rachel and Santana. Oh, that's so cute. So, obviously, 
obviously this category is just really fun. I mean, you guys have been through sort of frenemies and friends and not, what can we look forward to your relationship in the upcoming season? More of the same, you know. <laughs> uh, definitely more of the same. We'd be disappointed if that weren't the case. Yeah, that's why we're favorite TV gal pal. That's pal. right. <laughs> Now you're also celebrating what I think a hundred episodes very soon. I oh mean, my goodness! It's a lot to ask, but out of all those episodes, is there a memorable one or one that always kind of sticks out in your mind? Oh my gosh! Um, well, I love when we do any of the tribute episodes, um, and obviously when we uh, did our episode for Corey, the quarterback. Uh, I would say that that was, it, you know, it was really really difficult, but very special um, and we've just been through so much on this show and it's it's amazing and it feels like it was just yesterday that we started that's how I feel I can't believe you're up to a hundred episodes it's inconceivable I know I was like young had a sparkle in my eye when I you started. still have those now attributes. you're just like a walker exactly. going um, does it are you I mean I have to ask like are you guys always sort of you know in your bathrobe at home singing and dancing I'm the, in my mind that's what's happening at home at your house I don't know. Sort of, yeah. I mean, we all like have a passion for singing and um, and dancing, and so I'm definitely always singing around my house. What's your go-to song that you sing in the shower then? Anything that I'm like currently listening to. So right now it's like all of Beyonce's album. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yes. What, complete with the dance moves and everything. I can't move like her. Yeah. She's the queen. <laughs> Would you say she's your favorite performer? She is an amazing performer. I saw her live um, actually at Staples, and I. I was just blown away. She's so like ferocious, and I love that. Now, um, you, you know, obviously, this show is uh, all about sort of celebrating the best in music, movies, and television. I is there something in any of those categories um, this past year that you've been watching or following or listening to that you're obsessed with? Um, in music or TV? Yeah. Uh, yes, I am obsessed with girls. Uh, and Orange is the New Black is like my huge thing. And yeah. then uh, people are doing amazing things in music. So, I, you know, I'm really excited for this year to see what else comes out. It's a very exciting time. And I want to ask you, as a big star, is there anyone you haven't met in the star category you'd love to meet? So many people. So many people. Give um, us a couple. Brad Pitt, uh, Jennifer Aniston. Angelina Jolie. Small little names. You know what <laughs> I mean? They're easy to get to. <laughs> C-list, C-list. Well, you know, we don't mean to put you on the spot here, but we are celebrating 40 years here at the People's Choice Awards, so we have a little trivia. And you know, and you may get the answer right, who knows? So, who was named favorite young motion picture performer at the seventh annual People's Choice Awards? Now, this was in 1981. And it's multiple choice, okay, so don't good. get panicking. I was like, what? Yeah. Okay, Drew Barrymore. Ricky Schroeder, Jodie Foster, or Brooke Shields. So this is 1981. You, I mean, she, you were you were one, maybe, or not oh, even I, born. I had already had my major life crises yes. by that point. Let's see, uh, and what was the category? And this was the category of uh, favorite uh, motion picture, picture performer. Young, okay. young performer. Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore. That's close, and that's a very good guess, but you're wrong. That's okay. You still have an award here. This is the I'm one that counts. The actual answer is Brooke Shields. Look at her. And Look at that is. perm. Oh, my God. I She's mean, killing it right now. <laughs> Blue Lagoon. I don't know if you've seen that, but that that's what it was. That's awesome. Isn't that so fantastic? Well, I mean, it's been a long history of fantastic, Absolutely. beautiful actresses. You're just sort of up there now. So thank you so much for stopping by. And congratulations, thank you. by yeah, the way. Congratulations, Naya. Thank you so much for being with us. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Dave, let's see who you have on your side of the red carpet. Naya. 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 All right, joining me now is one of tonight's musical performers. I'm kind of dorking out right now because I'm a super fan. This is Sarah Bareilles. Hi, Sarah. Hi. It's great to see you. So tonight you're going to sing Brave, which you know I love that song. I, I'm so glad you do. I'm excited. We're doing a, a new arrangement of it. So How is it different? I'm not telling. Okay. Yeah. Now here's my question. That, this is a song that you wrote about a friend who was going through the coming out process. I'm curious to know at what point did you play him or her the song? Was it when the recording was finished or when you were kind of done writing it? Did you do it for them acoustically? It was demo versions, yeah. And and just wanting to share that that was so in, like 
that person's story was so inspiring to me. And it was also very much written, you know, um, my co-writer Jack Antonoff, he's very active and an amazing advocate and activist in the gay rights movement. And um, he started the Ally Coalition right around the time when we were writing this song. And it's about straight voices coming out for gay rights and it's just, it's beautiful work and it's so important. So you're nominated for the Grammy this year, Well, one of the Grammys you're nominated for is for Album of the Year, which must have completely blown your mind. It was one of the most shocking and incredible moments of my life. I will never forget it. Now I will say for anyone out there who has not heard the album, there's a song called Eden. That's the best song on the album. Is that going to be a single? I don't know. Do you we're, have any say? We're, so, we're in the in the thick of it still with Brave. It feels like I, the song's been out forever, but it's I'm still playing that song. So we'll have to think about what comes next. And a great video directed by Rashida Jones. She's the bomb. She's my girl. Well, I hope you have a great time tonight. It's a pleasure to see you. Have a great performance. I can't wait to hear it. Thank you. Sarah we'll Bareilles, you have a great time. Bye. Well, we are about the end of our red carpet arrivals, and we're getting ready to kick off the big show on CBS. Um, but first, we wanted to take a look back at some of the great fashion that's Absolutely. coming through, right? We, we do. have this fantastic high techy, high techy fashion 360 Vine video yes. thing. Yeah. And I have to say, what I love about the yeah. People's Choice Awards is that we see such a diversity of fashion. We see a little bit of everything. It's it's a people's red carpet. I mean, you see short, you see long, you see encrusted, you see minimal. Yeah. You see everything. Absolutely. And you know what? I, I didn't get the memo, but a lot of white on the red carpet. Yes. You know, so I, I think, you know, people are kind of more playful with this. You know, it's the it's the beginning of the award show season, but it's really about, like you said, the fans and the people. Absolutely. So, so, the, so this is sort of a fun, kind of lighthearted, you know, and look it, at that. For me, it's the most accessible of the red carpets. Yeah. People watching the show can say, I could wear that. Yeah, and that's absolutely. a wonderful thing. Although nobody could wear what Heidi Klum wore. <laughs> only I mean, Heidi. Only only Heidi. She looked amazing and fantastic as always. It was sort of standing next to her. I was like, I feel like a small little child of a stump of a child. But that's how I feel sitting next door too. So <laughs> Suchin, you have company. I get it. Yeah. I get it. All right. Like we said, the red carpet is just about closing. We're about ready to kick off the big award show. And we're being joined now by Dave. Yes. So I'm Dave, back. I miss you guys over there on my other platform. Well, we love seeing with all the people we wanted to talk to too. Well, I got I got the luck of the draw tonight. So you guys got some good people. We too. had yeah. fabulous people. What was your most memorable moment? Well, I really enjoyed talking to Sarah Bareilles. You know, know, I've been kind of dorking out on her for the past I saw two days. I actually tear come from your <laughs> eye there. I'm such a fan of hers. Her album is so great. Yeah. I was so happy that she got these Grammy nominations. She's also really funny. I saw her in concert uh, here in LA a couple months ago. She's got lots ago. of personality. She's such a Hard. I mean, she's got this really wicked sense of humor that comes out. I could kind of see a twinkle in her eye. She's got that. She's got that humor going on. Well, so we are fun. glad that you that you saw Sarah, and we wouldn't have yeah. traded any of our stars. No, to be honest, no. we love them. We had the smart crew up here. <laughs> did we you? We had like an autopsy sort of like bones a quiz going on. How did she do on the quiz? A hundred percent. Like this. She didn't even have to look at the name of the bones. No. But you know, one she of knew my, upside down before what, she saw the names. And one of my favorite moments wasn't even in a moment here. It was. With, was it with Shamar? And he was telling you all the women that turned him down over I know. Beyonce. Years. Beyonce she and Alicia Keys. <laughs> She's like, I did okay with Jay-Z, but I turned him down. I love it. I but love that he was so honest about I it. I literally could hear the, like, 50,000 women in the internet world yeah. going, hello. Hello. <laughs> I'll, t I'll take her place. I'll oh take her God, place. Oh, my God. That was crazy. But for you, Tim, did you have any sort of great moments? Or oh. You geeked yeah, out. I geeked I out all the it. time. Yeah. I geeked out all night, I have to say. Yeah. And I was just thrilled to be here with you. And if I'd been alone, I really would have been in a puddle. So, Dave, I couldn't yeah. have done it alone. Yeah, what, yeah. Now, we what, had each other. What happened when Heidi saw you? She must have been thrilled. Oh, and I was thrilled, too. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And I was just the, the odd man out, <laughs> like the squeaky wheel on, on a date. I was Never like, the odd man out. it's just well, me. You know what? We had so much fun tonight doing this against the clock game. Yeah. And since we have a couple minutes left, I want to oh. play it with each of you. Oh. oh. Okay, so, okay, wonderful, because we didn't get to do it. No, okay, no. so Suchin, I'm going to start right. with you, okay? okay. We're going to put 15 seconds oh, on really? the clock. This is official. Here we go. Oh. Are you ready? Uh, yeah. Zombies or vampires? Vampires. Batman or Superman? Um, Batman. Vegan or gluten-free? Gluten-free. Heels or flats? Flats. Chewing gum or breath mint? Breath mint. Dogs or cats? Dog. Coffee or tea? Tea. Laptop or tablet? Laptop. Live or DVR? 
Live. Oh, we're out of time. We just got through nine uh, of those. By wow. the way, I could, I could be the winner in this game. I'm pretty. I, I'm, I'm already willing to cede the when win you, to you. When you give me a silly test, I can ace <laughs> it. I can ace it. All right, Tim, I wanted to see how you did. Uh-oh. Okay, 15 seconds on the clock. Against the clock, right. Tim Gunn. Black and white or color? Color. Album or single? Single. Vacation or staycation? Staycation. Paper or plastic? Paper. East Coast or West Coast? East Coast. Duh. Vinyl or MP3? Uh, vinyl. Salt or pepper? Pepper. Seinfeld or Friends? Seinfeld. Oh, uh, we're out of time. We also got through nine. Oh, well, there it is. All right. Well, we are joined at the you know, I mean, it just, it just so, again, this is the brainiac side of the, uh, listen, of the red I've, carpet. I've known that. Well, <laughs> listen, guys, I have to tell you, it was so much fun to do this I with know. you guys for a Everybody, second year you. in a row. We should, so, we should make sure that this award show happens twice a year. I mean, once a year is not enough with you guys. I would <laughs> love that. But I want to say to everyone who's watching at home yes. that you should make sure to tune into CBS right now because you will not want to miss performance performances by my girlfriend Sarah Bareilles <laughs> and One Republic and Brad Paisley. Kat Dennings and Beth Bears from CBS's Two Broke Girls host People's Choice Awards 2014. Starting in just a few minutes, we've had an amazing time out here watching all the oh, fabulous it's celebrities been just come. just incredible. And I love that it's about music and it's about film and television. All right. And it's I think the, people are going to love Kat It's Kat the best Beth award too. show ever. Have so a great here it time. is. Bye, everybody. People's Choice Awards 2014. Have fun. Good night, everyone. Good night. Thank you.